Paul. Oh, Chris Paul. Ooh, it's got to go in, Smitty. It's got to go in, it's Smitty. It. Can't let him come through that little seam. So tell me who wanted to pull up his tweets when I scream, you know, all of my teams we beat back. Tooley, that shit look colossal, we'll crumble your walls with no kickback. And all of my teams, we came up from nothing, they counting us out where we been at. No fuck like the government, all of them all he is, they suck and dig in his big fangs. Found out. going on everybody it is your boy link here and today we are back with a brand new video and today we are going to be making cp3 the point god himself he is currently playing in his first nba finals ever chris paul that is right ladies and gentlemen today we are going to be making chris paul the point god himself but before we get into the video i would like to say you guys should definitely go check out fresh enough hydration and use code depth to save 20 percent on all of your purchases and also don't forget to head over to red dragon use code depth to save 10 percent on all of your purchases as well oh and also don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you guys uh, like build videos because i make one every single week enough with the plugs let's get right into the build video first up we obviously got a name of chris paul position point guard shooting right handed and of course jersey number three and now next up for the pie chart we're actually going to be going with the pure playmaking pie chart all right if we went the shooting and playmaking pie chart the three-point shot would be just a little bit too high for chris paul three-point shot isn't bad but if we're trying to make a chris paul build i feel like the pure playmaking pie chart is the way to go and now next up for the physical profile i just decided to go with the speed and acceleration pie chart just because we're not going to be dunking. We don't need to be that strong. We're not going to be down to the paint all that much. So that is why we're going to go in with the speed and acceleration pie chart. And now next up for the attributes, we have the finishing category up first. And we're going to put the sucker all the way up to an 81, only to give us one finishing badge. And then that is all we're going to be touching for the finishing category. Next up, we're going to move all the way down to the shooting category. And we're just going to max out the midi, max out the three point, max out the free throw. And we're going to put our post fade all the way up to a 64 then that is going to give us a total of 16 shooting badges next up for the playmaking attributes we're literally just going to max the pass accuracy and max the ball handle to give us a total of 29 playmaking badges it is legit insane and then we're not going to be touching the post moves whatsoever and then next up for the defensive and rebounding category this is honestly the easiest one we are literally just going to max out every single category that we have here and then that is going to give us a total of 10 defensive and rebounding badges i hold defensive and rebounding very very highly on all the bills that i make now if you guys add up all the potential badge upgrades that is going to be a total of 56 badge upgrades i locked up for the body shape it doesn't really matter what you go with you can go solid compact slight whatever you guys want but i'm gonna go in compact because you know my boy chris paul it's kind of build you know he's got a little muscle on him and now next up for the height this is where the fun begins we are actually going to be maxing out his height at six eight now nah, i'm just playing we're gonna be going all the way down to six feet and then that is gonna be the height for the chris paul build actually six feet in real life so it is staying true to the point god himself and now next up for the weight uh we're gonna be going to 175 staying true to chris paul so your height is gonna be six feet tall and then 175 pounds and now next up for the wingspan this is where some of the discrepancies begin you guys can keep it where it is but personally i definitely want a little bit more shooting so i'm gonna put it all the way down to a 72 and if you look at a three point and our mini they both go up by three keep in mind you will be getting plus four to each and every single one of your attributes one to it 99 overall then obviously for the takeover we've got to be going with the play maker and in three two one here it is mid-range playmaker shades of kemba walker tim hardaway and kyrie irving i literally could not think of a better name for a chris paul build ladies and gentlemen the build video does not stop there it is time to show you guys all of the badges and now first up for the badges we have the finishing category i'm saying there's only two that i would recommend for chris paul and that would be the acrobat badge or the giant slayer we only have one if i'm being honest i'm probably gonna go with giant slayer just because he is six feet tall and when he does finish at the basket everyone's gonna be taller than him so that is gonna do it for the finishing category and then next up for the shooting category we have 16 potential badge upgrades you're gonna max out catch and shoot on gold difficult shots on gold as well 
dead eye and deep fades on gold go down to range extender put that sucker on gold and then hot zone hunter on bronze because you know my boy chris paul likes to get to his spots he does not settle for shots then if you guys are having trouble timing your jump shots you guys can obviously take it off hot zone hunter and then put it on flexible release but i'm gonna be keeping it on hot zone hunter all right everybody and then next up we have the playmaking category 29 potential badge upgrades the biggest category we got starting off we've got ankle breaker going on hall of fame then we have bailout going on silver dimer obviously going on hall of fame flashy patcher going on gold floor general obviously got to put that sucker on hall of fame as well of course we've got to put lob city passer on gold then we got to go needle threader over on gold quick first step on hall of fame and then space creator on silver doing passing because like this pretty much the chris paul build he's a pass for his kind of point guard and then next up for the defensive and rebounding badges we have 10 potential upgrades and if you guys have been around the channel for a hot minute you guys know that there are two badges that i always always max out when i can and that is clamps and intimidator for potential badge upgrades and I'm going to be putting Pickpocket on gold and then Tireless Defender on bronze. This is what I'm choosing to go with. And then here we are. We've obviously got to choose the Chris Paul jump shot. Uh, all right. That is going to do it for the video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you guys made it this far in the video, you guys might as well be liking something. So you guys might as well hit that subscribe button and that like button. It just helps out the channel a ton. It's been your boy Link. Remember, be better than you were yesterday. And I'll see you guys. Next video. So tell me who wanted to pull up and switch when I scream, you know, all of my times we big man. I got me a toolie, that shit look colossal, or crumble your walls with no kickback. And all of my times we came up from nothing, they counting us out where we been at. Now, fuck the government, all of the molly is they sucking dick in this big fangs. Founder, Titan, OG, whoa. Ice cream, they change.